All right, so let's go ahead and call the meeting to order. Everybody have a chance to review the minutes? Yes. And can I get a motion to approve the minutes? I'll make the motion. Anybody approve. want to second that motion to approve the minutes? Okay, no, no. Julia, Julia, I'll second that. And we don't have any visitors today. So we'll go ahead and move on to old business and we'll do the streetscape update. Sure, Madam Chair, uh, just a brief update for you. Sorry, I'm gonna get this all out of the way here so you can see. Um, so I wanted to, first of all, you go away. Um, so I wanna take you to, let's, let's get this down out of the way so I can, I can see what I'm doing here. Uh, this page on the county website, whoops, come on, come on, operate better for me, Eric. Um, this is called Projects Under Design by St. Louis County. Uh, this is the web page that has all the projects under design. I'm going to send this link out so you all have it. Uh, you will notice on, a, on the map here, uh, when you zoom in a bit to the Webster Groves area, we have a few projects under design uh, with the county. Big Bend in Old Orchard, as we know, and McLean, which is irrelevant to you, but all very important is this little stretch right here. That's your project. Uh, which I wanted to highlight. So this is the web page for the design projects and such like that. And so your project number is AR1851. We'll send this out so you all have it. Um, this is the web page that has is about the Crossroads project, has all the details and data, the scope, the contact and such. Um, and so the county sent this over. They wanted you to be aware it's up. It's ready. Again, they will be prepared. We know who the committee is for design in terms of their functions. I do want us to start thinking about, we don't need to do it, but I think this fall and in over winter, start having the conversations and we'll involve public works on the very specific streetscape type of elements that you want to have involved. What kind of lights? What are you thinking of You know, for streetscape type of materials um, and design functions like that? Things that are the city's responsibility that we make sure to build into. So this is not so much intersection design and such, but what do you want on the sidewalks and things like that to really give the crossroads flavor and feel. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. So we'll send that out, but that's uh, the update uh, from the county on that. And then I just wanted to highlight, um, just simply because it happens in Webster, we've got two other projects I think you all know about. Uh, the Big Bend resurfacing in Lockwood to Laclede. That's the resurfacing in Old Orchard, a road diet to sort of match what we're doing mm -hmm. down in Crossroads. And then Laclede itself is going to get a whole uh, update all the way down from you know 44 down to Watson. So just just want to give you that update. You can find all that on the the county website that we'll send you. Okay. So for right now, we're staying on time on target, right? We are on time on target. Yep. In fact, that's a federal grant, so we will. And unless there's a major delay for some reason, the county is committing to that that period of time. Allison, we're getting you back in. Allison, you're back with us? Looks like it is. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Hey, I want to tell you, though, I do live on the Cleed Station, so I'm happy to see that big blue line right in front of my house. You can find that page and see all the details about it when we send that link out to you. So. <laughs> There we go. All right, so we'll move on to the 4th of July. So I was um, contacted by Webster Kirkwood Times because I used yep. to be the point of contact sure. to do our ad. Yep. You know, I said just the regular yep. ad that we normally did. Okay. So I went ahead and made um, arrangements with Webster Kirkwood Times and Marshall sure. to get that up and running. Okay. Um, I assume that we're doing the normal stuff for the parking lot behind. Yep. Do you need us to close it down? Mm -hmm. and put barricades Actually, up? if you just put the barricades there, I come in and close it okay. and then I'll take them down and then put them off to the side again when it's over with. Sure. Open it back up. And then... Um, so they'll be delivered on the third for you. Okay. And we'll just set them down there. Outside. And don't they put um, porta potties in that, in the parking lot? So the, the parks doesn't, but we can have them. Well, I guess I, I can have parks do it, yes. So I okay. just need to know if you wanted them, so. I believe I believe so. Yeah. Okay. They, they and is it two, yeah. is it two years? I would say for the about, about the last four years, yeah. and we've had yeah. no issues, yeah. so. No, I, I I think they plan to do it. I just always tell okay. them. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yep. probably had, you know, more than 300 people there yep. last, last year. I'm there all the time, too, yep. so. Right. so. Do, how many barricades do you usually get? Just two of the little A-frame? Yeah, so we close off both. Right. So we close off. 
the side between yep. Pat Bever and yep. Jeff just really, and then the other side. Of right. Jeff so you'll need so two on each spot. Yeah. So four, eight, four. And and Alma. On the Alma side. Yeah, but this yeah, but the city does that. I don't. I can't okay. go on the street. I just right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah. yeah. And then they'll put the um. Port and yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll we'll have parts over. Okay. Otherwise, same plan as normal for fireworks. Yep. So same times, all right. Okay. Same back channel, same yep. back place. Same. <laughs> um. So I just this is old business. So I don't mm -hmm. know if this is so. The um, model railroad club. Did mm -hmm. everybody see their posts on social media? I saw something mm -hmm. about the grass cutting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, is this where we discuss our grass? We, we absolutely just, can. Yes, yes, please. Yes. So, everybody knows I dislike these people. Okay. <laughs> so, just know that I'm coming at this sure. with that. Okay. So, um, it is my understanding, and in the past, I mean, I've been here mm -hmm. on the business district yep. for almost 18 years. Yep. So, um, the plantings that face Big Bend, as you go up and over mm -hmm. Big Bend, were all purchased by this business district and physically planted by us okay. with the agreement that they maintain those, okay. which are not generally maintained well. They sure. usually overgrow the sidewalk or overgrow into Big Bend. Yeah. Uh, the city, um, upon our request, helped us plant trees along that area between the railroad tracks and the train station there yeah. that they help us maintain there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it was my understanding with the railroad, they're under a 99 year lease. How long they're into that lease? I don't know how to find that information. So yeah, we don't have the lease either uh, because it's between the lease and the club. But what I understand uh, is that they're about 20 to 30 years in. So they got quite some time left up this. And so, <laughs> and so anyway, but it's my understanding from the railroad yeah. that it's their job to maintain that the, the railroad clubs. When we say that. the railroads club yeah. job to maintain the building, the grounds, mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Correct. So it bothered me on several levels mm -hmm. when they posted on social media that I this agree. business district and the city has failed to mow the grass and maintain the land over there. They posted that statement. Yes. Okay. So well, that's it because you know, the city green space commission went out and helped them. Only me. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And we've, we've given them money. Right. Yes. Over the eighteen years, sure. paint yeah. the building yeah. to yes. do yeah. all this yeah. stuff. We we had the sure. building paid for and we had all that stuff planted. So I am mm -hmm. absolutely livid. Right. And I chose the better way not to respond to social media because it would not be a nice response. What also bothers me about this is there some time ago, and I'm sure I can research my records in the office, it'll just take me some time, that the city came forward under Mayor Welch and said that they would join with the railroad club and they would take on the responsibility. It's no longer yeah. offered by the city, but right. to rehab that building. Sure. And in exchange, they wanted half of the building sure. to use for small meetings or social yeah. gatherings or whatever the city was. I'm yeah. for. Okay. <clears throat> And the railroad was even fine with it, except that they had to leave a certain amount of land for the railroad to put railroad ties, equipment, equipment whatever. Stuff, yeah. yeah, that kind of stuff. And um, the railroad club said, absolutely not. Mm. So at that time, it was offered that that building be totally rehabbed, right. including its roof, which is I'm, I'm still on that. That supposedly cost $300,000, <laughs> but my head's going to start spinning. So Anyway. They haven't done the roof yet, like they said. No. And <clears throat> anyway, I'm, I'm listening to it. I'm pulling up the I map so want, I can understand I, all the things. I, so. I just want the facts to be properly represented. Sure. Without vitriol, so it can't be me, but I want the facts to be properly yeah. represented. Well, I agree. So I will. I will look for that post and such. Um, I am unaware of any city obligation. There's no city obligation. That's, that's my point. There's so, no business district obligation. Exactly. So um, unless they have some signed agreement with the city, I mean, there's no obligation. If, you, if we do anything once, if there's not a signed contract or agreement, you know, if there is no idea in perpetuity that we're going to continue doing something, right? I mean, this is 
Uh, and that, I'm just going to speak broadly. This is one of the reasons, like with the old Webster Trade Association, I want to get an MOU so that we understand in writing what is actually going to happen mm -hmm. year over year in commitments and not just simply hear the one time thing from the city or a one time thing from an outside entity to the city type of operations. But I, uh, I was unaware of the post. All I saw was the Green Space Commission, which I know volunteered. And I don't know how they sort of got involved. Well, they volunteered in based on all the stuff that was put okay. in post. In post. So, and I can try to probably through Fran get screenshots of that post okay. because me navigating social media yeah. is like not either right. one. Okay. And the other issue with that is, I mean, this is, you know, uh, the underpass under right. 44. I mean, obviously, parks and recreation is not at their full scale. Their, yes, okay. they're not at their full scale of employees, right? Because our green spaces don't look as they normally do, because it's not totally up in planting and under forty four. Yeah, no, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Right. So I'm sure, like other businesses, they probably are at like fifty to seventy five percent capacity. So things are not, you know, getting done. A, so I think, yes, there's some of that. I, I don't know if you noticed on the way to the building, there are some native and perennial plantings going in that a lot of people have said, that doesn't look as pretty and they are flowering plants. They're just not. Right. And so there's some areas in there. That yeah, they're, they're they may not be. Okay. So I, yeah. I don't know. And I'll ask, I can ask you. And like the pots went out a little bit later. So, I mean, there has to be some mm -hmm. give and take here. Like yeah. we all have to understand that we may not be 100% staff. I don't really know. Yeah. You know, so but we are the not. other part of this is, is that it's not this business district's responsibility nor the city's to mow that now the city has the, over at the railroad yes station. yeah now the city has done it in the past to keep that green space looking nice because it is a green space where you enter webster when you come exactly back. yes completely understand you're right it's not our responsibility in terms of staffing we are not we're not at 100 percent we're having a hard well i shouldn't say we, we have gotten there recently mm -hmm. but we had a hard time finding finding a lot of seasonal and, and part-time workers in those roles that have normally gone there many people want to be on the rec side mm -hmm. go work the day camp or the pool and such like that mm -hmm. did not want to be on the mowing and you know the park maintenance side um so we had we had a lot of issue with that it's part of the reason why after no mow april mowing took so long to get caught back up is that people that wanted to be in those positions we had a real tough time filling those roles so, but uh, I do think all of those vacancies have been filled now, but again, that's still, as you add labor, it takes time to get it trained up, so. So, and then when the green space people did volunteer yeah. and step forward and mowed that, they were like, oh, we're, we're so sorry that, you know, you're having this problem with right. the city and your business district. And I'm like. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they, yeah. So I, I I saw that post, but I didn't, I didn't pick you up didn't all that background. You're pretty tame about that. Oh, I'm sure you are. Well, you've asked me about the railroad club before, and I, I agree that there's something there that should be done better, right? And there's, mm -hmm. I just, we haven't had enough, we haven't had the, the documentation nor the understanding of how to get our hands around it, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, dealing with the railroad is always a challenge. We've got the same problem down on Barry. We've heard about the blown hope, the, the, the blowing horns at night, mm -hmm. you know, broke. Uh, that's just the railroad needs to come and clean out their obstructions, but they haven't got there yet. So right. horns continue to blow. So can't do much about that. <laughs> no, no, that's, I mean, that's just a chronic problem for the 18 years or 20 years we've been in Bob County. Mm -hmm. I mean, they just, the I mean, building is almost derelict. I, there's no way that thing passes code. I, I don't think you're wrong about that. I'm not sure. So I, I, I don't think you're wrong. I don't I don't know exactly what it's on the railroad land, what powers we have on code. Though. I'm, I'm just, that's me. I don't know, but I can ask. So that's a little bit more. Still occupancy. Absolutely. Well, we should, so, yes. Well, like fire coding. Right. Yeah, that, that's occupancy. Yeah. So, Fran, is there yeah, a way that you can... before yeah. on the fire side? Yeah. Can you recapture those social media posts? That... Yeah, take a look if they're yeah. still there. Yeah. I believe they are because yeah. people I just don't know how to do it. So I just want to be clear. So I am so I know since I knew these trees here you all planted. Yes, with for? the city. Got it. And then you said as you come across what other plants? So when, right in front of the building in on the, the big bend side. Between all between those plantings there in the boulevard, not that side, the big bend side. Well, right, all those plantings right there. We we okay. we physically planted that as okay. a um business district. Got it. Yeah. All right. And they do lean over the, I walked the dog over there and they do all hang over the sidewalk almost to this yeah. to the street yeah sometimes it just it gets yeah. sure well and those are I mean as Jeff can tell you sidewalk maintenance not the maintenance of the sidewalk but the overhang that is a responsibility of the owner I, right and we planted them with that agreement exactly yeah all right okay
Well, I can definitely look into that. I, frustration is heard. So um, we have this. No, no, that's fine. I mean, we have the same frustrations up on the, as Fran can tell you, here in Old Webster with um, the Pacific area. Mm -hmm. uh, that the right way and, and the railroad, you know, non maintenance. That's the railroad itself, right. non maintenance. And so their vegetation is leaning out into Pacific. So, you know, now railroad's a lot harder for us to deal with. Railroad Club, of course, is an entity we can, we can deal with. So maybe we can take over the lease, make an event. I mean, whatever it would be. I mean, you know, it mean, needs something that makes money. There's, there's nothing I would love more than to take over that lease. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, I'm done with my rampage. Okay, okay. on Rampage to business. <laughs> uh, the Hawken, Hawken House Concert Series sponsorship. Hawken House has sent us uh, their request year after year. Yes. And this is the one. $500. Um, this is an event that occurs yeah. in our business district, and we have in the past um, sponsored it. I, I did not uh, just automatically say yes because last year right. last year we've always done it, but right. last year Chris had a couple questions. So I figured I'd bring it back and make sure you were all good with this. Right. Um, so I'm in favor of sponsoring it, but I just wanted to see how everybody else felt about it. Is everybody okay with sponsoring this? I'm fine with it. Okay. I'm okay with sponsoring it. Okay. Yes. So I move that we sponsor the Hawken House concert series. Um, anybody want a motion to sponsor that? I'll make a motion. Okay. And second? I'll second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. Okay, we'll go ahead and sponsor that then. Okay. And then we'll get on to the BDC update. Julia. Yeah, um, we had a great uh, turnout for our coffee event in May, which we're super excited about. We're still going through the comments, um, but overall we decided it was a success and we're gonna do it again, um, looking in August, I believe. Um, so thank you for those of you who came. And if you didn't make it this time, no worries. We'll see you at the next one, hopefully. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. We're just, yeah, going through our feedback and going to see what we'll do next. I just wanted to highlight quickly that some of the, the big conversation that we heard a lot of in relation to city stuff was, of course, for pedestrian and crosswalk mm -hmm. improvement. Big Bend and Elm came mm -hmm. up. I, I think Crossroads was well represented. I had yep. a lot of businesses yep. down in that area from there. Uh, and so that that obviously came up uh, just as a note. And that's not really BDC's business, but it's it's important to the, the business community. Uh, but then also beautification and just what do we do with districts and areas, not just in the business districts, but across across the city. And how do we help highlight and draw foot traffic and make spaces that, you know, destination retail and such can happen. Okay. Uh, we'll move on to city update. I don't think we have council member on. We don't. Uh, Officer Rizzo, anything for you? I don't have anything. Uh, I, city would like, I would like uh, to know what's going in at Acme Printing. Uh, that's Stacy Swiderska has purchased that building. Paisley Boutique. I'm not sure if Paisley she's is if, if moving. Paisley Boutique is moving there from the Guardian Life, the old reliable, reliable building. Excuse me, not Guardian Life, old reliable building. So. But they're staying there too and opening a different shop. Correct. Yeah. Like yes. kids, kids store. It's so. called the breeze. Who's doing all the surveying in our business district and what's it being done for? It's all over the place. Is that for the street jobs? It it may be for the no, no one's told me. Because it's all over. Yeah. yeah. Haven't okay. been told. Uh from the city update side, I just wanted to give you a uh heads up. Um well, a couple things. The budget passed last night, your budget all fine and adopted. Um also, uh, the city did submit a $2.5 million electric vehicle charging station grant, uh, which includes a location in Crossroads and the Alma lot, a dual port charger being added there. Um, that, uh, I'm, that one may, and I stress may, I'm not sure, have a solar panel that goes above it to help add to reduce the city's electrical costs, create its own power uh, in that station. May not, I'm not, I can't remember off the top of my head. They have 18 different charging stations in that grant. Uh, we should know back from the feds, I'm thinking by the end of this calendar year, whether or not we get it. Then also there's the complete streets, uh, the safe streets grant, which we're applying for part of the city's whole complete streets conversation. Uh, really, uh, it's the first step into accessing federal money on how do you get to a more safe streets, reducing traffic fatalities and accidents plan. Uh, 
Um, so that's again that concept of safety, not necessarily so much for pedestrians are included, obviously, but how do you really slow and really bring traffic into a way that's manageable? That's really going to be conversations as we go down Elm as well, uh, which includes your district uh, along the way. And then um, the city, this bounce back to budget, all your money's held for the streetscape as we talked about in the capital plan, uh, but also wanted to let you know the street improvement fund is quite healthy. Uh, and so when we talk about design from the city perspective, again, you have an entryway marker there, people coming off of 44, really to consider whether or not we do some beautification. It's pretty well done coming up Elm mm -hmm. off of 44, but if you want other entryway type of markers and such and considerations. Want to ask you, I mean, it's obviously much more of a city conversation than just the business district, but you're all right there. So in terms of uh, did want, we did have, uh, and I know the mayor is having some conversation with the railroad about what do we do with the pedestrian, the young people access down and over through the railroad and such like that. I don't know that there's much we can do, but that conversation is happening, you know, between the middle and I think once we start to change the streetscape, it'll kind of be more pro promoting sure. and taking it down the other yeah. way. So we we've talked about and they we've talked about whether or not we really work on some fencing there to prevent the access right. down on the grade right, right at Elm and such. Mm -hmm. Because we are greatly concerned from from the city's perspective on the kids on the west side of Elm having to you know essentially run across the street to get to a sidewalk over mm -hmm. on the other side. So uh, Officer Razul knows certainly much more about I than I about the traffic down there, but it is a concern that we do. Yes. See. Well, and the cut up there between my building and Art of Entertainment, mm -hmm. I think it's right. Yeah, it's yeah. easy access there. So Fourth of July is a nightmare. This oh yeah, everybody wants to sit on the railroad tracks. Which uh, can we? Are you finished? I am. Can we, can we back up to the electric charging stations? Yes. How, how was Alma determined as the best spot to put those, as opposed to putting them on the backside, like on our lots, where the visibility would be much greater sure. for somebody yeah. sitting there? So we can we can talk about that that moving and such. I mean, we we looked at all the simply out of where electric utilities are. Yeah, um, and the, it's an easy branch off of the line right off Belma to put a service in. Could, yeah, would be off of our side too. So, yeah. and I, I'd even give up a few spaces to take some chargers, okay. and, and would just be it's a well lit lot, mm -hmm. much better accessibility. Yes. I wouldn't want to sit on Alma with my car for thirty minutes while it's charging in the middle of the night somewhere or whatever. But I just think it would be a better okay. situation. I actually agree. Um, yeah, the accessibility is there all the time too. So there's just more circulation. The accessibility is um, much yes. better and it'll be easier to see. And I think you do have power connected. That's all along the yeah. back side of the fence line. So I saw the feeds to my building come that way. I don't know if yours do or not. Yeah. Okay. You can definitely look at that. So Because I think when you're just driving by, you'll be able to see them pretty right away. From the Big Ben? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And you wouldn't be able to see Alma very well. No, no. I mean, they'll, they'll have to be signage. Yeah. Way in. And really, most folks connect on the chargers from their apps. They're getting, the app is telling them oh, yeah, where to go. Right. You know what I mean? So, and in fact, uh, ChargePoint, which is the company that we utilize here at City Hall, you have to have the app even to pay. Right? Gotcha. You don't even, well, we we can take credit cards there. It's more, I mean, gotcha. most people are using the app. So I, I completely understand what you're saying. Okay. The rec center has some as well. So, I mean, in reality, I think, get this grant or not, crossroads, between the crossroads and the rec center, you're all going to be a hub for the city's first initial foray into EV charging. <laughs> Officer Rizzo has done a good job of holding a straight face during all these conversations. Same neutral. <laughs> good position. Julia, you had your hand up. Is that the same comment? Um, no, I was kind of going back to the streetscape beautification. That um little section in front of the gas station like at the corner is mm -hmm. that the gas station's responsibility in some ways but they are they are in the district i believe i have to remember yes. yeah so so there is we can streetscape and beautify but in terms of you know if, if they have anything on the sidewalk or obstructing you know that's their job to take care of so yeah i just feel like there's this really nice opportunity for more landscaping at that corner and i think that it they already have some, but it could be more. And then also Caddy Corner where there, that bench is, is that city so that, stuff? That's city property there. We actually own 
diagonally across there, some space right on the corner. So yeah, didn't we talk about a Webster Groves, a WG fiberglass sculpture or something there. Yep, yeah. yeah, but that'll all come in this when we sit down and talk about. Yeah, I, I think all of that can be added and addressed. I mean, I'm I'm also I'm thinking to have you know, Digital Strike has asked about this. It's incredibly I don't have to be right words here. It's not tough, but the right you need the right conditions to get Ameren poles to put banners across, mm -hmm. right? And we really don't have any good poles there for all the traffic to put that. So is that a conversation in streetscape, you know, that we, right. instead of having what I call the candlestick lights, like we all have, you know, about, right. what is it, 12, 15, 14 feet high, do you put some higher to be able to get, banners. you know, banners across? Do you all want over the light, over the street lighting, you know, that you see in some areas, you know, that, the, the you know, strung across the street right. to really light the district and such. All that can be done. And that's the kind of conversation, you know, those physical things, Big distinction, do we put those in and, and how do we get there and what do we want? So, you know, I mean, we could do everything. We could also include if we wanted to, I'm just, sky is the limit here. You know, do you have over Elm, like sort of like the Grove down on, on Manchester, you know, an over the road, you know, Sign. Webster Groves type of sign, things like that. Um, we have relatively stuck to monuments and like on the north side on Kirkham or smaller signage. But that doesn't have to be. And that's the kind of input that we want to talk about, you know, and really you as daily owners and users, but also what makes a better space and really draws people's attention and things like that. I think when the BP station remodeled, there was some requirements for some landscaping there. I don't know if that ever got met or now we're going I back. Think it, I think it years. did get met at a minimum, but it was intended to get met at a minimum with always the intention that the streetscape was going to override it and got it. basically redesign it and elaborate it, you know, because we were always hoping that the streetscape was going to be off the ground much sooner than it has been. Because I think that's the, the landscaping mm -hmm. requirement right there. Yep. That's there. Certainly we own, and uh, you know, all these little islands are, they're not major, but you know, things can be done in island that they're going to stay, you know, in some ways to, to improve the look and such, but sorry, I'm moving around on you a lot. <laughs> like when I we've looked at poles like for Amber and I think our best poles are right about back in this vicinity here somewhere and it's it's got power I mean you know a good fluttery day you're going to be good contact the power line so it's it's been a real tough identifying something to utilize that major intersection in terms of you know lighting and such and, and manners that bench area is starting to be a real hot spot for people to sit and eat their bagels um yeah. and i just feel like more little spaces like that or leaning into that could is something to start thinking about yeah definitely oh, sorry. wholeheartedly agree just real quick jeff and where are you thinking power runs right back here is yeah. that all the all the yes. all the power all runs here okay so my building and most of those buildings are the lines right along there's the parking lot lights back there too right so. yeah okay be a simple feed from yep. for anything. I'll take a look at it. The visibility at the, you know, where that entrance comes in off a of big bend, if those charging stations were right there where people could see them. Right where yeah. we split the parking lot between city yeah, parking lot much. and just parking lot. Which one so, are we talking? That's right. So this is city parking yeah. and it's just parking. So if they went like right there, they'd be like right here. Easy. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. I mean, that, that entire parking lot's well lit. Right. So we have, I, I, to that point, I just want to, not in relation to the grant, but on Alma, have talked briefly about, to your point, Julia, uh, since this is public, and there's probably more employees, but do we look at these small spaces here that are islands making them seating, pulling landscaping out, putting benches in, letting people have, if they're going for the bagels, you know, do we... And does this lighting in here change in some way? Do we put some more overhead in? <clears throat> so, yeah. But I'm, that's, I mean, that conversation, I want to be as very preliminary, yeah. no decisions. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Any other questions? Um, so I just want to tell everybody that Josh has moved from our side of the street across the street. How's your how's your move going, Josh? Do you need any help with anything? No, nah, so far so good. I'm uh, pretty much all the way in across the street and started functioning over here Monday. 
So, so yeah. Okay. I gotta so, come over so far, so you. good. Awesome. Yeah. Well, if you need anything, let me know. And Where Matt's across the street? He, he's in a Christian building. building. Oh, he is. Yeah. First yep. floor. So, so, so far, so yeah. good. It was as smooth as a, a move can go. <laughs> awesome. So you have more space over there, correct? I do. Yeah, that's a joke. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Did you finish the floor? Did you finish the floor, Josh? Yeah, floor's all done, all painted, and come on over. You can come check it out. <laughs> all right. Do that. There you go. <laughs> awesome. Well, great. I'm glad you moved. Yeah, thanks. Okay, so anything else for city update? <clears throat> and our next meeting is set for July 19th. Is that okay for everybody? I'm in town. I just, yeah, no, I'm right. I know we're off August. I just want to double check. Is there any reason you want to be in July? Just giving you that option. Um, no, we were going to be in July because we were off in August. And okay, so we right. got to make sure we got everything ready for the um, pickleball. Got yeah. it. No problem. All that good so July 19th works for everybody? Yes. Okay. Um, can I get a motion to adjourn? I'll motion. Uh, okay, Josh, I motions. Anybody want a second? I can second it. All right, Allison, seconds. All those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed, say nay. All right, thank you, everybody. I'll see you in July. Thanks. Yeah. See you then.